Hey guys, what's up? I'm Brianna and today I am working with Super B Wigs Hair Company. As you guys can see, it comes in this really sturdy box. And of course, the wigs, which is a deep curly, it comes with a hair tie, a elastic band to go into the wig to make it glueless, and also a wig cap. So it comes with everything that you need. Again, this is deep curly. It is 360 lace wig. It has the fake scalp, as you guys can see. And I usually don't like this, but I actually did like it. And it actually blends really good. I was super impressed. And this wig is 20 inches, as you guys can see. The wig combs, it's four of them and um, three at the top and one at the back. It also has adjustable straps in the back as well. So as you guys can see right now, I am cutting out the combs. I cut them out because I want this install to be glueless. And also, I don't like it pulling or nagging at my hair, of course, because this is supposed to be a protective style. So if you guys want this wig to be a glueless wig, then leave these in. But if you want to do um, glue or gel it down then i would definitely recommend taking it out and also if you're going to glue down the back then you're going to have to take out the adjustable straps as well which like i said if you want this unit to be glueless then i recommend you to leave it in so the hairline wasn't plucked um at all really and also the knots were not bleached so i just went in and added some makeup and i also plucked it a little bit as you guys can see just to give it a more natural appearance and since the fake scalp is literally right behind the hairline there wasn't much to pluck at all so this is going to be an easy process for you if you do decide to get this wig so now i'm moving on to the back and plucking this area as well this was not plucked at all but it did have like some short baby hairs there so i just wanted to go in and part out a section and um just make sure that i'm plucking back there as well so that it can be thinned out when I apply it. So now I'm just going in and applying the wig guys and as I stated this wig has two layers of fake scalp. The first layer or should I say the outer layer of the fake scalp is for the wear of your wig to be resistant and it also increases the service life of the wig so basically it's like a protective bar barrier to protect the knots from shedding too much and just the longevity of the wig as well and the inner layer of the wig is to make the knots smaller and the parting look more natural so as you guys can see you can't even see where the fake scalp starts or finish it just it's is so seamless and like I said they've really improved this fake scalp concept because I did have on a wig cap but I honestly didn't need one I just used it just because to hold my hair in because I have um, braids in my hair but other than that guys you do not need a wig cap because the fake scalp kind of does the job for you and um, just makes it easier for application and you don't have to do so many steps so now I'm just going in and taking out my baby hairs because when you um, melt the front you want to make sure that the baby hairs are out as well so once it's time to do your baby hairs they'll already be laid in the direction that you want them to lay So now to the slightly difficult part. So I'm just going in with my Got To Be Glued spray and spraying it back there. I also use my blow dryer just to make it tacky. And as you guys can see, I'm just like, I'll tap it with my finger to make sure it's tacky. And once it's tacky, then I just lay it down on there. So just a tip, I definitely recommend you guys put the back of the wig on first, like tack that down first if you're going to use gel or even glue. Do that part first and then do the front and um, hopefully that can make it a little bit easier for you guys. And I just kind of put some makeup back there to um, give it the scalp illusion and this is the finished result. So as you guys can see, I just have the hair up in a ponytail and it's wet and um, i'm just going to show you like different styles and also i'm going to show you the knots and the lace and show you how natural this fake scalp is is and 
guys the um thick scalp also like makes it look very natural because the knots are smaller and it just looks really clean and really nice so like i said guys if you guys are interested in a 360 lace wig then look down in the description box for the link to this particular wig i hope you all enjoy this video continue watching till the end and i'll see you guys in my next one Like Joanna, Joanna. 